that to one side. Now we need to cut out our base card, which I've cut out here. And what you'll notice is you've got your big white panel at the back for writing on, then you've got your three panels. So once you've cut it out, we're going to score along the solid lines and that little line at the end for your tab. You're then going to cut down each of the top parts of these solid lines, which then will form your flaps. So these parts of your box will fold down. So again, once this is cut out, we're going to score on all the solid lines and that little side line where the tab is, and we're going to cut down the top section just to the score line in the middle, which will then give us our separate box elements. We're then going to decorate. So we have cut out panels. So on the top of the page, you have your cut out panels, which will fit onto the bottom there, and that one will fit on the inside. So when you see them all decorated up, you don't want a plain back. So you have a nice little pattern on that back. So to make sure I'm doing it the right way around, what I'm going to do is have it facing me, have these whichever style I want them wear, so I like the big style present there, the medium one and the big one at the end. You can lay these up using foam pads, you can use glue tape, depends if you want a little bit of rise on them or if you're happy to have them flat. So just going to pop these down. This glue sticks quite quickly so once I've done all three I can then just turn it over and start putting the other ones on the top section. But it's personal preference what you use. So just applying plenty of glue for this, move that one out of the way. Now a little tip I find is before I cut them out I sometimes glue them, sorry I sometimes glitter them even, um, just because then with the, when the glitter dries on the glue it just gives me a, a nice firm cutting edge around the areas, which I'll show you what I've done and what I mean on the original section. So on the topper section, what I've done is I've put glitter on all the white parts of the gingerbread man and I've put glitter on his little snowflake flower and his nose. The same with the Rudolph, I've put a red nose glitter and I've put on the snowman, I've done this little candy cane and the little dots on his scarf. And I've also decorated the Santa part on the front, the snowman on the front of the card, just to give it a little bit of decoration. So we've got our panels on the side there. These bits will fold down, so when you put the toppers on these, you want to make sure you're putting them on the right way around. So they don't go on the coloured section there. You can print on the inner section if you want to. There is a backing paper on there, so you can actually print on the back as well. I quite like having a white border all the way around, so I've chosen not to print on the back side of this at the moment. Again, you have your toppers for this, which are the slightly smaller toppers, and these have candy canes, so you have two candy canes, and then you have a blank one in the centre. This is then going to form around like that. So I'm just going to pop these on. I've laid them out in the order that I want to stick them. Just applying some glue to this. And again, I'm just sticking those down onto this section. I've curved the corners on these as well. As you see on the topper that I'm using, so I've picked the Christmas Friends, it does give you a nice curved edge to the corners. It just looks a little bit prettier. If you've got a corner punch, obviously you can just use that to round the edges. I've just done it by scissors just because it's a little corner. Some of the toppers in the section you can have scallops, um, or you can just have the curved section. So the Mui Christmas with the cows has actually got a scallop section. So all the edges of this are scalloped and again quite easy to cut out. I tend to find it quite easy with the little scissors on this rather than large scissors just because I've got that little bit more control. So those are now stuck. So what I'm going to do is open that back out and my snowman will sit on that back panel there. So that back panel is where you're going to line up your tabs and all your decoupage will face outwards from that. So we just like a nice bit of a decoration on there. A little bit of white all the way around the outside. Now all I need to do now is actually make sure they all fold. So I'm just popping my score lines in. 
especially with my tab. So I'm moving my tab in, giving it a nice score. So I'm using my nail to do that. Popping some glue on here. And all I'm going to do is simply fold the card in half. That will then seal that section. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a rub to make sure that's nice and stuck. What you can also do is open it in half again and line it up and make sure it sticks. So I'm just going to leave that for a second. So on our topper section, we need to cut all of these out and decoupage them up. So these tabs will sit inside the box part of the card and each of the elements will decoupage up. So I've cut these out in advance. So we have our little polar bear with his candy cane. We have our little gingerbread man. And we have our Rudolph and his Christmas tree. So on this one, all we're going to do is I've got the decoupage elements ready to stick together. I've popped foam pads on the back of these. And what I've done is I've actually used large foam pads and cut them down just so they go into the right shape for me. So I'm just supporting the antlers and the legs. So I've stuck the others together to make up the decoupage in advance. So once you see me make one up, you don't need to see me all of the others. So I'm just taking all the foam pads off of these. Then you can curve the decoupage to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm just going to line that up. I tend to line up from the bottom and then on my, my way up. There's no right or wrong with this. Whichever way you find to line up your decoupage, as long as it works for you, it's perfect. So we're just going to pop this one on. So this time the decoupage is just the reindeer. So we're going to pop that on. And then finally it's going to pop on the reindeer's head and body. Again, just give it a little bit of shape. Match up his scarf at the bottom and his body. So he's now all ready to go. What I've also got cut out is you have a tag option. So again, on your sheets, you have the tab option. You have best wishes, sorry, warm wishes. You have Merry Christmas and you have a blank one if you want to stamp on it yourself. So you've got different options to choose from. I've picked Merry Christmas, just because I think it's fun. So once we've made up these, you will need to score the little lines before the white section. And what you're going to do is fold this back. Now, I know there are questions around printing. I normally print on 250 GSM cardstock. Um, and I have got a Canon printer to do that. I tend to find it can take anything up to about 400 GSM um, without having too many problems. There's a lot of printers on the market. It is personal preference what you prefer to print on. Um, but I tend to use um, one that will take quite heavy cardstock. Um, it's personal preference as to what you use. So I've got my box cards. So these tabs need to sit in that mm. section. And what we do is we start with the biggest one. So the biggest is the reindeer and the, snow and the Christmas tree. He's going to sit in the back part of that. The polar bear will sit in the middle. And the gingerbread man will sit at the front. And once they're all in, you'll see how nice they look. Now, I work from the back to the front. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of blue on the side panels. and I tend to work a finger width apart. So what I'm going to do is just tuck them in the back and measure about a finger's width from the back. And all I'm going to do, because I'm using a wet glue, I'm just gonna press and hold that into place for a second so it grabs. Then I'm simply gonna fold the card so the side panels will then sit down. Ignore my dog, but he's back again playing with his bone. So Bertie does like to craft along with us. So just pressing that down so the glue, the glue has a chance to, to grab. So we've now got our first layer in our box card. We do exactly the same for the second layer. So I'm choosing my polar bear for the second layer. And again, popping glue on each of the tabs. 
Now the good thing about this card is you've got a lot of toppers with this, so if you choose not to use a pop-up card and you want to make something slightly different, all you have to do is cut out the toppers and then you've got the toppers ready to use on a different style card if you choose to. It's very, very, very versatile, this card. So again, I'm just going to finger width apart. I'm just going to open the card so it's flat and press down on the side panels. It's saving me sitting there and holding them and you watching glue dry. So we've got the two in there now. So we have our snowman penguin on the back panel. We have our Rudolph and tree on the large panel. We have our polar bear on the middle panel. And then we're going to have our little gingerbread man on the front panel. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the last sides. And this will then sit in the front section. And I just want this to sit about a finger's width from the last one and about a finger's width from the front. Just so there's a little bit of room and you can see. Now what you do want to do is line this up so you can't see any of the white tabs sticking up out of the side of the box card. What you want is just the blue section visible when you look at an angle. So when you're looking at it straight ahead, you can just see the characters standing up. If you tilt it inwards, you can just see the blue. If you print on the inside of your card with the blue backing paper, that will blend in perfectly and not match. I just like a white border, um, which is the only reason why I haven't. Again, I've pressed that. I'm just going to make sure it's sealed and stuck properly. You've then got your box pop-up card. So we have, oh, they're holding hands, <laughs> bear with me, my snowman, my polar bear and my gingerbread man are holding hands. So let's just do that. So they now line up together and they make an absolutely gorgeous box pop-up card. To close it, all I do is I lift the one flap and close. You can leave it down if you want to. I tend to find if I lift it, it just gives that little piece of decoupage a little support. That will then sit flat depending on how much pad, how much of a pad or a rise you've got in your decoupage. The last thing we need to do is just pop on our little topper that we've cut out. And all I'm going to do is pop that on at a little bit of an angle on the front panel where it hasn't got the little walking sticks, the sugar candy canes. Just gonna pop that on there. Again, you can rise that with, gin with, with gingerbread. You can rise it with gingerbread if you want to. You can rise that with foam pads if you choose to. So you've got your candy canes, you've got your sentiment there, and you've got your toppers inside. So you have your gingerbread man, you have your polar bear holding his candy cane, and you have your Rudolph and your Christmas tree, and then you have your little penguin at the very, very back. You have your white section on the back to right on with a little polar bear on there. And then you can glitter these to your heart content, had ribbons, had gems, had a little bit of bling to it use the toppers on other cards, use the backing paper to print off and matte layer onto um, silver card and white card and then use these as toppers and your little sentiment and you've got a completely different project with it. So we have our Christmas friends, we have our Mui Christmas and we have our festive trimmings. So these are the three of the range that you can pick from. Obviously, there's a lot more to choose from. 